research and analysis and your efforts to bring out the facts about what was going on in our society, did you encounter any effort to discourage you, to prevent you from bringing out the background of America's involvement in the financing of international communism? Yes, very definitely. Um, for example, uh, when I was at the Hoover Institution, uh, in 1972, I went to Miami Beach to give some testimony before the um, Republican National Committee. And uh, although a congressman had hand-delivered to the wire services this testimony, which was later printed, uh, the wire services refused to transmit it to the newspapers. Then when I got back to the Hoover Institution um, in California, um, I was called into the office of the director and uh, I was uh, told in no uncertain terms not to make any more speeches like that and that this information should not be made public. This was the information that we were uh, giving uh, the Soviet Union the technology to develop its war potential? Oh, yes. At that time, we were, in, we, we were in Vietnam. And as you know, the Soviets were supplying the North Vietnamese. This was 1972. 1972, yes. And, uh, for example, I knew that the Gorky plant, which was built by the Ford Motor Company, the Gorky plant in Russia produces the gas, a series of vehicles. The gas vehicles had been seen on Ho Chi Minh's trail. We were supplying equipment to the Gorky plant in the middle of the Vietnamese War, and these trucks were being used to carry ammunition supplies, which were killing Americans. So I thought this was morally wrong, and I said so at Miami Beach and wow. at the Hoover Institution. And it was this type of information uh, that was suppressed.